Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about the Amazing Spider-Man universe. Hold on a sec. Okay, let's get down to business. What I want to talk about is, they have two release dates revealed for Spider-Man 3 and 4. Mark Webb is directing the Amazing Spider-Man 2 as we speak. And so far, I think he's doing a pretty good job of what I've seen. But I'm hoping this is the two major flaws of, you know, flaws in the whole movie. Police uh, Harding and Eddie Brock. I hope they're in there somewhere. They have a hidden part for this one uh, girl. I'm not sure what her name is. I think it's Felicia uh, Jones. But um, they have a hidden part for her as rumored as Black Cat. If she is Black Cat, that would make the whole movie work right there because that would help the Black Cat spinoff. Um, they're wanting to make it big like the Avengers, you know, the Spider-Man universe, kind of like the Avengers. So that would be just cool right there, you know. I said it over and over in my past videos about how they all need to connect in each other's movie. Like, have Black Cat in the Amazing Spider-Man movie. Have Venom in the movie at first. Then Venom gets his own movie, and Peter Parker could be in the movie as a side character, like you barely see him. Um, but yeah... People wonder how could a Venom movie work? You gotta remember the old comics of the Venom comics, and if you haven't read them, you gotta check them out because Venom has his own story and it's really good. Um, check out Maximum Carnage because that's what I'm hoping for. Check out the comic Maximum Carnage or check out the old video game because I still have that laid around somewhere. It's a good game, but um, I'm hoping the movie ends up like that. Like, um, you know, Carnage and, um, goes out of control, gets some super villains, and Venom, Spider-Man, Black Cat has to stop him, and some other two characters, I, I don't want to reveal, okay, I'll say one, Moonlight, but, you know, if, you know, that, that happens, that would be, like, awesome, that's what I'm going for, I like to see, you know, the Spider-Man universe build up with cool characters like that, mainly Venom. Josh Trank is directing the Venom movie. It's been confirmed, but I'm having a little problem because he's doing the Fantastic Four 2 reboot. And I'm just like thinking in my head, if he's doing the Fantastic Four and he's supposed to be doing the Venom movie at the same time, how's that going to work? You know, I'm thinking one of those rumors had to be false, you know, and the Venom movie has been confirmed. I'm not sure about the Fantastic Four. But I think he should be focused on one movie. What do y'all guys think? Should, you think he can handle doing two movies at once or what? Um, but yeah, if you don't know who this is, you should check him out. His name is Venom 2 Million. That's the guy where I get my news from usually because I subscribe to him. He's a really good news source. Um, Seven Webheads, he suggested in his video, and I've been watching his videos, and he's getting some good news out. So I would check those two guys out if you don't know who I'm talking about. Um, I'll put one of their videos up in the description below, so check them out. Uh, they give you pretty reliable news, and they're pretty cool, so yeah, check them out. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, if you want to subscribe, I appreciate it. If you like me, like me. If you dislike me, dislike me.